This video gives a brief introduction to the Mindstorms ultrasonic sensor and how it works. Here is the ultrasonic sensor. One of these round cylinders is an ultrasound transmitter. It sends out sound pulses that are above the frequency that humans can hear. The other round thing is an ultrasound receiver. If the outgoing, if the outgoing sound pulse from the transmitter hits an object like this robot here, if the outgoing sound hits the robot, it will bounce off and some of the energy will come back to the receiver. The receiver detects the reflected pulse and records the time that it took for the sound pulse to travel from the transmitter to the object and back to the receiver. Based on that round trip time and knowing the speed of sound, the software calculates how far away the object is. Now, you may have noticed that I've been pointing at these cylinders, at these little round things, and saying one's a transmitter and one's a receiver. But actually, it's hard to know which one is the transmitter and which is the receiver. They're not labeled. I don't see any labels on them. So it's not totally clear which one of these is the seat receiver and the transmitter. Do you think you could figure out which is which? Maybe you can't right now, but by the end of this exercise, you might be able to figure it out. So keep thinking about that, and I'll give you a challenge at the end of the video to figure out which is the transmitter and which is the receiver. Now let's connect the ultrasound sensor to a brick and play around with it. First, find a wire like this. Then plug one end of the wire into the ultrasonic sensor and then pro plug the other end into a brick. Now I have a brick that just so happens to be part of a robot. So I'm going to plug my brick into this this robot and uh, into the brick that's part of this robot. So I've got a little attachment here. I've got a little bracket, a very simple bracket that I created. And so I'm putting the sensor on there and I'm going to plug I'm going to plug the other end into port number 4. You could plug it into any of these ports, any of the numbered ports. It really doesn't make any difference. And I'm going to wrap this around here a little bit to get it out of the way. You might have heard a click. You want to try to make sure that the the wire clicks into the into the brick. And remember that the sensors always plug into the numbered ports, and the motors always plug into the ports A, B, C, or D. Now we'll start the brick. Start the brick just by pressing this button and waiting. All right, so the brick has started up. Now we're going to navigate the brick's menu by using these buttons on, on the front of the brick. Um, we use the left and right buttons to move horizontally through the menu and use the up and down buttons to navigate up and down through uh, selections on the menu. Now I'm going to switch to a close-up simulation of the brick screen so that you can follow me better. Okay, so here's a simulation of the, of the brick. Right now the cursor, the brick is on the first tab. We want to go over here to the third tab. So I'm going to press the right button until I get there. All right, now I'm on the third tab and I'm on the port view and that's where I want to be so I want to activate the port view by pressing the middle button now here's the port view so there are four rectangles up on the top here those represent the A, B, C, and D ports on the brick down here there are four ports that they represent the first, second, and thir third and fourth sensor ports now I've got my 
my ultrasonic sensor plugged into the fourth port. So I want to go over there, move the cursor over there. So I'm going to press the right button until I get there. Now you notice that it, the display has changed. It's showing a number, 255. So what that means is that the ultrasonic sensor is measuring a distance of 255 centimeters. It says there's a, there's a, a object out there that's 255 centimeters. Well, and now it's changing. That's because I'm moving the robot around. It turns out the 255 centimeters is kind of a special number. That means basically that it, it doesn't detect anything. So right now the sensor is saying I can't detect anything. Now I'm going to point, point the sensor straight up and you notice that it changes. Now it says 143 centimeters. I'm pointing my sensor now at the ceiling and that's probably about 143 centimeters away. Now you may not be accustomed to uh, measuring things in centimeters. So let's see if we can change that. So if I click, if I'm on the, the fourth the fourth port that now, I click on the middle button and that gives me options. That gives me options for that particular sensor. So for the ultrasonic sensor, the options are U.S. distance centimeters, U.S. distance inches, U.S. US dash listen. So I'm going to move, so we're measuring in centimeters right now. I'm going to press the down button and change that to inches because I, I just think more in terms of inches. So then I will click on the middle button, and now we're measuring in inches. So if I, now if I make it so it can't see anything, okay, so it go, when you're measuring in inches if, and the sensor can't see anything, it goes to 100.3 100 inches. So just take your sensor and configure it like I did, and walk around the room and start measuring things. See what, uh, see what you think. For example, point it at something and uh, look at the distance that it reports and then ask yourself if that's reasonable. Another thing you can do is hold the sensor at the top of your head and aim it at the floor. The sensor should measure your height. Is it accurate? Now the ultrasonic sensor also has a, another mode. It's called listen mode. And that mode it does not try to, to look and see if there's an object out in front of it. And it doesn't try to measure the distance. It just listens for other ultrasonic sensors. So if it if it's if it detects a, the signal from another robot's ultrasonic sensor, it can tell you about that. So let's let's take a look at that. So I'm going to click on the middle button. When you click on the middle button, it shows you options. So I'm gonna it's gonna show the US dash listen option there at the bottom. I click the down arrow and I click click the middle button to activate that and now it says it shows me a big zero and zero means that right now the sensor is not seeing any other ultrasonic sensors out there so in other words there's no other robot out there with an ultrasonic sensor so let's get us another robot with an ultrasonic sensor and see if we can get that to get our robot to detect it so now I've taken another robot and I've put it in front of my original robot and I po pointed it straight at my robot. And the other, the other robot also has an ultrasonic sensor. And now you can see that that zero turned into a one. That indicates that my robot is seeing another robot, another robot's ultrasonic sensor. So now I'm going to take my robot and I'm going to just kind of, it's, it's pointing straight at the other robot. And I'm going to turn it to the left gradually, just kind of rotate it. Now you see the zero, it went from one to zero. That means now my robot is facing away from the other robot so it can no longer see its ultrasonic sensor. Now I'm going to turn it back towards the other robot. Now it sees the ultrasonic sensor again. And now I'm going to keep turning it past the other robot and start looking in the to the right of the other robot. And now the one changed back to back to a zero saying that my robot is no longer seeing the other robot's ultrasonic sensor. I'm turning it back. Now it's pointing straight at the other robot and it sees the other robot. So it's no longer sending out pulses and, and trying to get reflections off another robot. It's simply listening for the ultrasonic sound from another robot. 
So that might be fun to play with. There may be some interesting things that we can do with that. Another thing that you might notice is that when the, when the, ro when the ultrasonic sensor is in listen mode, it flashes. It flashes red. That indicates that it's in listen mode. When it's in distance sensing mode, it's just a steady red light. So you can test this out but with another student. Find another student who, if there's another student around, who can, you can play around, you can both test your ultrasonic sensors in listen mode. Now remember that listen mode only works when the other robot sensor is in, is not in listen mode, when the other, other robot sensor is sending out pulses trying to de detect a robot, robot's distance from it. So what, to test out listen mode, one robot has to be in listen mode, the other one has to be in distance sensing mode. So that is a quick demonstration of how the ultrasonic sensor works. Now back to the challenge that I mentioned earlier. Now, now that you understand how the ultrasonic sensor works, can you figure out which of the round cylinders on the front of the sensor is a transmitter and which is the receiver? Now is a good time to play around and see if you can figure it out. You will probably have to use almost all of the information that I have talked about. So give it a try. Good luck and have fun.